Hey, how y'all doing? So, um, it's been a little while since I've done a reaction here. Um, I saw this come up in my YouTube feed recently. Uh, I haven't really been on Instagram much, so I haven't s even seen uh, this song being promoted really. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I'm sure they've been promoting it for a while, uh, Adam and, and uh, Tom and Struggle and everybody. I just haven't been really paying attention on Instagram. I've been busy. Uh, I got a lot of going on in my life right now, and uh, I could be out of the army in a month at this point. Uh, I don't. I have nothing left to do except SFL Tap, which is a program that uh, helps you uh, set up resumes and write, write a resume and set up uh, job opportunities in the civilian sector. So I'm going to be getting out sooner rather than later, rather than later. But anyway, um, I'm not going to do a long intro. I'm just really wanting to hear this song. I, I, I've been forgetting to. Um, to go ahead and, and do this and uh, it's been two days now so I'm sure my this video probably isn't gonna get a lot of views but it's okay I just really want to react to this and uh, and hear what they got to say so here we go they separate us from our neighbors and they call it social distancing it's actually a bigger plan it's called social conditioning they took away our privacy there's always someone listening this song is gonna be crazy I'm gonna be pausing a lot <laughs> Uh, it's, you know, they've been calling it social distancing, but it's really been social conditioning. Uh, yeah, because they're getting you, for one, you know, and not just here in the U.S., but, uh, you know, it's worse in other countries like Australia and the U.K. and, you know, different places in Europe and wherever. Um, governments were encouraging people uh, to literally report Especially like earlier on in the in the whole COVID stage nonsense, uh, you know, uh, people were being encouraged to literally pretty much snitch or report on their neighbors uh, for not wearing masks or not social distancing or not following whatever guidelines uh, governments were putting out. Um, and uh, I mean, if that doesn't sound like some 1930s Nazi Germany shit, I don't know what what does, but. Uh, social conditioning, yeah, getting you used to the idea of putting loyalty to your to uh, a tyrannical government over loyalty, respect, and care for your neighbors, your community, um, and uh, that it's been deliberately engineered. This whole thing has been deliberately engineered. Why do you think masks? And masks and the COVID vaccine and everything all of a sudden it's just poof it's gone now well now you know the new distraction for the sheep is World War 3 and the whole Ukraine Russia thing which is going to turn into no doubt snowball into a bigger conflict if this if this stuff continues so uh, I mean unless something crazy intervention happens uh, you know this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better but um so yeah, that's that's what the New World Order and uh, and uh, NATO countries and, and everybody's been trying to do, and you know here we are. So all right, I'm gonna keep going. The elections planning riots for the us from our neighbors, and they call it social distancing. It's actually a bigger plan. It's called social conditioning. They took away our privacy. There's always someone listening. The elections planning riots for the citizens. The government. Your your phone, especially if you have, especially if you have an iPhone, is recording your conversations. Why do you think things pop up? Even if I'm not, I'm not talking about just stuff like, oh, well, you know, you visit a website and now you see a lot of ads from it. I'm talking like you'll say something, you'll be having a conversation about something, and then you'll go on your phone and you'll see an ad for it or, or whatever. Like, I mean, put two and two together. That's not a coincidence. That, that it's known that the, that that technology is in this stuff. That's why I have an Android phone. And even then, I'm sure there's some Android phones somewhere probably. That have similar technology that's being used. So I, yeah, I mean, um, but we're just crazy conspiracy theorists, anyway. The elections planning riots for the citizens. The government has always lied. It's history repeating. But the problem is the schools dumb you down so you believe them. If you try to speak the truth inside a tweet, then they delete it. Whole administration, Satan. Is this is insane. Like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna have to let it go at some point and just let it play because I. I could like dissect literally everything he's saying and go on a whole rant about it. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean the whole thing about the government lying. I mean, like our government has been has been committing atrocities for 180 years. 
almost the entirety of our history. And uh, a lot of times it hasn't been supported by the majority of Americans. They just do this stuff anyway because they're rich and powerful. And they got rich and powerful uh, pretty early on in our history. And we just didn't uh, recognize it, didn't care, or didn't do anything about it until you know we've gotten to where we are now. And it's pretty much too late to do anything about it without either mass compliance or something worse. But I'm not going to go into detail about that. I'm sure you all can figure that out for yourselves. So that's um, that's what's going on. <sighs> wow, this is this is going to be insane. So claim they praise in Jesus every year. Always lied, it's history repeating. But the problem is the schools dumb you down, so you believe them. If you try to speak the truth inside a tweet, then they delete it. Whole administration Satanists who claim they praise in Jesus every year. There's a new name for enemies that we're facing. It's Al Qaeda, then ISIS, and now American patriots. Who would have thought those who love the country the most would be hated on by folks who call America home? Both political parties are equally just as evil. They've been working for themselves. More facts. I mean, I'm never going to go to all the other stuff you said because, again, I could go on a whole rant. But uh, both political parties are evil. Yeah, it's kind of the point now where uh, I like was, I mean, yes, was Trump a better president than Biden and so on and so forth? In my opinion, yes, by far. And I would much rather have him as president than Biden. But I don't look at either candidate or political party or, or any political party, any politician, any holder of public office as a solution to the problems we have, not just with our politics, but our society as a whole. Because uh, there are so many things wrong with our society, with our culture. Uh, and uh, I'm not talking about our traditional culture. I'm talking about today culture. I'm talking about, you know, New World Order society, uh, wokeism, feminism, transgenderism, uh, you know, and, uh, and, you know, just woke culture in general. Um, you know, uh, Marxism, I mean, all, all these things, you know, that um, are praised as, well, I, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole. Just suffice it to say, I mean, you know, I, I personally, I'm not saying that any of these people in these songs do. I don't know the, all, all, everything about their personal beliefs, but I will tell you that I do believe the Bible is true. And it says that uh, evil will be called good and good will be called evil in the end times. And I think that's what we're seeing. So that that brought that to mind. But anyway, let's keep going. Don't give it patriots. Who would have thought those who love the country the most would be hated on by folks who call America home? Both political parties are equally just as evil. They've been working for themselves. Don't give a damn about the people. Black, white, yellow, brown, humanity needs you. Cause united we stand. Divided they will defeat you. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big what was written in them pages that was history they wrote now you want to change it by the way that is a good hook and uh i always like seeing nova on songs because she produces all of tom's videos so to see her actually on a song with tom is pretty dope there are have been a few others not many of there have been a few others and this is another one so i'm uh shout out to nova and uh tom that's cool and uh adam's about to go off here so let's let's listen to adam Y'all missing what was written in them pages That was history they wrote Now you want to change it You racist You hate this Again, not necessarily saying my views reflect those That the people made who made this song But that reminds me a lot of uh, Confederate statues Because my, I, could, I have to like force myself not to go down this rabbit trail Because I'm passionate about it And, and the, the ignorance of so many people on this thing is anyway I'm just gonna say whether you, what regardless of, of what you think who was right on what side or if there was a right side uh, at all or what whatever you think the war was fought over uh, you know I know for a fact what it was fought over and it was not what everybody thinks seems to think it was um, and you can learn that if you actually stop reading biased material that's been uh, put in the education system for the past 150 years and you actually go and 
read and uh, you know quotes and under, and newspapers and letters and read what people were actually saying at the time instead of an opinion piece written by Vox. <laughs> anyway, you know that's you know f that is an example of something that is our history. And whether you think it's, regardless of your opinion, whether you think it's good or bad, it needs to be known. And not just that, our, our, that's just one example, but our entire history, good and bad, needs to be known. Needs to be remembered. And the more you, and statues is just one thing, but, you know, it, it's statues, it's what's in the books, it's what's in the movies, entertainment, everything. The more you remove... Uh, in terms of remembrance of of past things that have happened and, and made this country what it is, uh, the more the more you lose, the farther you drift away from your identity, our identity, as a, as a nation, as a people, as a country. Uh, we've been divided by the powers that be, pitted against each other for so long. And instead of realizing that they're the enemy instead of us, each other, uh, we go along with the narrative and fight over things that in the long term are not really worth fighting over. So, yeah. Why you want Y'all missing what was written in them pages. That was history they wrote. Now you want to change it. You racist. You hate this. Why you want us all to be locked up in cages? I can't stand the left. Everything they say is depressing. Ship them to the Middle East. They can learn oppression. Believe me, I mean this. If when, when these dumbass Western women say stuff about, you know, uh, you know, Islam being great and, and whatever and a religion of peace, you know, like like you, you literally will get mad at a guy for like wanting you to cook or clean the house. And then you say you support Islam as a, like, that's the religion that stones women to death for looking at a man they're not supposed to look at. They throw people off buildings. They kill women and children. Uh, they just, I mean like, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Quite literal. I want us all to be locked up in cages. I can't stand the left. Everything they say is depressing. Ship them to the Middle East. They can learn oppression. Believe me, I mean this quite literal. I love liberty, but I liberals. Wear a mask, stay home, complain and moan. Talk about privilege on your phone in your Range Rover, Starbucks, mango, food. It is true. On the on the one hand, it, there's such a thing as white privilege. I'm sorry. I hate I hate to break it to you, but no, there's. Work ethic, maybe. Privilege, now. Uh, you, the system fucks everybody. Uh, it's designed to do that. It's designed to fuck uh, the common person, the common man, and make a few people rich. Now, some people would say it sounds like a communist statement. No, it's not a communist statement. What I'm simply saying, because, again, because the, pro the problem with communism is that, for one, it's based on the belief that most humans are basically good, which is... My, I 100% believe is false, um, but most people are basically bad, and it and doing the right thing is the more difficult choice, and you have to put effort into doing the right thing. And I fail at it all the time, but I at least I try. Um, where's it going with that? <laughs> um, yeah, just let me go back and listen to it again for a second. I love liberty, but I liberals wear a mask stay home complain and moan talk about privilege on your phone in your rain yeah privilege uh just that yeah um you know we're we are all getting fucked by the system and we're again we're, we're picking oh it's your, your well your skin color so this or your demographics so that or where you live so this and, and it's so stupid that we fucking buying all this nonsense and just go along with it. It's all a distraction uh, that is engineered to get you to ignore and miss all the insane stuff that they're doing. And then, or and now it's like to the point where people have become so desensitized to evil that they're like, what's wrong with that? Like, eh? Uh, and, and I mean, it's, and we, it's been the way for a while, but it's just getting worse all the time. All the time it's getting worse. 
the things that people think are acceptable or normal or whatever. Anyway. Rose, Starbucks, mango, foo foo, whatever. The cloth I'm cut from can handle any weather. You just paper in the rain, we ain't the same. Stand for the flag, only kneel when I pray. I just pray we go back to the old days, land of the free, home of the brave. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy and they lying to us. Don't know who to believe, so in God we trust. Yeah. Uh, I see through all the illusions, refuse to hear or accept that we are losing Easy to get caught up Consumed by the consumer Truth is so deluded People starve off the confusion Consumed by the consumer First, yeah, first off So like, uh, yeah I fuck with struggle the long way Man, like uh, Anyway, I mean the guy, the guy And the guy came out of a really rough past And really made something out of himself Like, I mean Out, out of that whole group of, of, of artists I listened to I mean He really had to bust his ass To get where he's at And, uh, you know He's fucking... He's done the work. Anyway, I'm going to go back and listen to that again because he was saying a lot. And I missed a lot of it, so. Uh, I see through all the illusions. Refuse to hear rumors or accept that we are losing. Easy to get caught up. Consumed by the consumer. Truth is so deluded. People starve off the confusion. Come consumed by the consumer. What could that mean? Because, because we, I mean, uh, the first thing I think of when he says consumed by the consumer, you know, consumer, um, we have a consumerist culture, consumerism culture. Uh, where it's just buy stuff, 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 buy the car, buy the, buy the toys, buy the ha buy the fancy house, buy the this, buy the, you know, get the, you know, go on the cruise, on the cruise ship, you know, go to this fancy amusement park. You know, um, and, you know, these are all, I feel like, um, you know, in the Roman Empire, there was this concept of like, I can't, I don't think this is the right term or the way they would say it, but something along the lines of like drinking games or food and games or, theater and something like that but the point being that uh you know roman citizens lived especially in the, in the latter end of the empire lived in basically shit conditions and they had like no freedom in their life and their lives sucked so what the empire did was okay you know we're going to build these coliseums and we're going to you know have gladiators fight and do just all kinds of theater and entertainment so that uh, pe the people are, you know, think that their lives are nice because, you know, they can go to the Coliseum and, and see all this stuff. Da, da, da. And it's, it's the same. Jeez, I can't even believe I'm even saying this because I never thought about it like that. Wow, this is crazy. Thank you, Struggle, for uh, for uh, <laughs> getting me on that on that rabbit trail because now I'm like, wow, this really is a repeat of, the uh, you know, like the same things that were causing or were symptoms of the fall of the Roman Empire is the fall of Western society, uh, you know, the U.S., the, the you know, all, all these. It's the same thing. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, wow. Yeah, because, yeah, people were distracted uh, with, the, with the entertainment. And so they thought that their lives were good or had meaning or, or were acceptable or whatever, or that they had a good life or that they were better off than other people. Uh, when in reality, they couldn't, they couldn't have been further from it. And they had no idea, because you know they had they had the all the, the the trappings or whatever of society. So they thought they were living a dream, and nothing that could have been further from reality. Yeah. I see through all the illusions, refuse to hear rumors or accept that we are losing. Easy to get caught up, consumed by the consumer. Truth is so deluded, people starve off the confusion. Comfort is the killer, your dreams execution. Cool. Yo, dude, that was a bar. He said comfort is the killer. Dude, that is, that right there might be the best, like, just single bar in the whole song so far. And there's been a lot of, Tom especially was dropping a lot of bombs. But, like, that right there, holy crap. Wow. Comfort is the killer. But uh, there, there's an, there's another Bible verse. Again, look, if you don't like me quoting Bible verses, you don't have to watch my channel. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't expect you to believe the same thing I believe or whatever. I'm just I'm just saying, like, uh, there's a there's a Bible verse. I can't remember what part, uh, what book it's in, but basically it says something like Yeshurun grew fat and kicked, and basically what that meant was like the people of of Israel. Had it so good, 
you know, in the Bible, you know, they, they got to the point where they, they had it so good they, that, you know, they, you know, no disease, no war, no famine, no, you know, nothing, starvation or whatever. So uh, that they just got complacent because their life was so good. Well, what are, what is America like right now? What is Western society as a whole like right now? You know, people in, in, th in quote unquote, quote unquote, third, third world countries, uh, you know, don't know where their next meal is coming from. And they live in disease and poverty in the mud. And I guarantee you some of those people are way happier, more content with their life than Westerners that have all this stuff, right? And we, we think that stuff is happiness, you know. Uh, but, you know, comfort is a killer. Again, it kind of goes back to what was going on earlier with the whole, uh, you know, uh, games and, and, uh, and entertainment and everything. You know, because uh, comfort, you know, we're comfortable. You know, we have, you know, we have electricity and AC and, and, uh, internet and, and all this stuff and we're comfortable, which is why we're complacent, which is why it's a killer because it's killing us mentally. It's killing our society and we're just letting it happen. So, yeah. Persecution. If I make a contribution, home of the brave look like a mental ins Truth is so deluded, people starve off the confusion. Comfort is the killer. Your dreams are- Truth is so deluded, people starve off the confusion. Truth is so deluded, people starve off the confusion. Huh. Cool persecution if I make a contribution. Home of the brave look like a mental institution. And there will be revolution if we can't find resolution. And a threat is a promise. Stand up, pay homage. They tell lies, I'm being honest. Test the time is upon us. I know that God got us, so I'm fighting in his honor. Hear the cries of the crusaders. I want to go back to the line he said, Home of the brave is looking like a mental institution. Uh, yeah, because... Our society has gone crazy. We like, like I said, you know, we're calling evil good and good evil. So like, we're literally have gone insane. You know, we're not brave. We like, I mean, people call brave today to, you know, coming out the closet or 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 you're getting a transgender operation and and being out there writing a book about it as being a hero, uh, not someone you know sacrificing everything for their country or for their family, uh, you know, for someone pulling a kid out of a burning building. Uh, for someone shutting down a Planned Parenthood clinic, that's that's not a hero, but but someone who who chopped their their uh, their parts off and uh, and got in, hormones injected in, into them that they're not born with is is a is brave is a hero. Yeah. Wow, that was true. Resolution and a threat is a promise. Stand up, pay homage. They tell lies. I'm being honest. Just the time is upon us. I know that God got us, so I'm fighting in His honor. Hear the cries of the Crusaders as we're strapping up our armor. If set set a higher ground and drown in a drama. If I die for what I love, then my death will be Nirvana. We fighting for our freedom. Don't believe what they've been feeding. Be the change you want to see. The warrior that we're needing. Be the change you want to see. And it's not, it's hard, you know, that, that's a choice, that comes down to a choice. No, it's not easy, nobody wants to do the work. I mean, hell, I mean, I'll admit, I like, to me, that's like, oh gosh. You know, I mean, it's it's like, you know, you're already slave to the system and you work all these hours and then and, and then taking on the responsibility of, of being that change and, and doing stuff about it. It's something we should really all do, you know. And it's just frustrating because, like, you know, there are a few good people who will do it, but the majority won't. And so, at the end of the day, like, maybe a little, a little difference is, is is made, and that's that's better than nothing, absolutely. But it's not enough. It's nowhere near. It's not even anywhere near enough. So you you kind of feel like you're just fighting an uphill battle, you know, that you'll never win. I don't know. <laughs> want freedom that you have that to offer we don't want the lies the politics or the drama we just want the life that was promised by our fathers we don't trust the news the government or pharma we just want freedom that you have that to offer we don't want the lies the politics or the drama we just want the life that was promised by our fathers the man on the news. our fathers were the ones who you know you know blood sweat and tears you know they they did it all they lived it all so that we wouldn't have to 
and look what we've done with it. We've thrown it away, and we just and we've like we've gone crazy. It's like they said earlier in the song, like Struggle said, it's an insane asylum. Yep. There's Tame. Shit, Tame and uh, Adams Calhoun son just got out the army. He got to he got to finish the contract at least. I mean, shit. <laughs> See, at the end of the day, God really is all you can trust. Because you obviously can't trust people. You sure as shit can't trust the government because they they don't work in your best interest. They that's what they say they are, but they can give a shit less about you. All they care about is their money, their power, and their agenda. And that's all they have have ever cared about, and that's all they ever will care about. They're not your friends. Stop putting your faith in politicians your faith in God or if, or if that's not who you are or what you believe put your faith in something your conf in something something bigger than you whatever it is <sighs> anyway I uh, I appreciate y'all hope you enjoyed this video I know maybe my reaction might not, might not be the most positive one you're gonna find on YouTube uh, which I guess I have to work on on that and, and try to be a more positive person it's just the way I am. You know, people will say I'm a pessimist. I'm like, no, I'm realistic. But yeah, it is true. I guess I do need a more positive outlook on some things. It's just, it's kind of hard for me. Because I feel like when you when you know so much and you feel like you're just like a little ant, you know, in this, in this world of giants, it's like, how do you change anything? I don't know. Anyway, love you guys. Y'all have, have a good week. You know, it's a Sunday night. So y'all have a good week. Y'all have a good work week. You know, get you some rest. I do nothing crazy because y'all gotta be at work tomorrow. Y'all gotta be at work tomorrow. I do too. So, let <laughs> me get a DUI or some crazy shit. You know, take care now. Be good to your families. Be good to yourself. Have a have a good one.